They love how you move about the room. They love how articulate you are, Taurus. You're, you're the Venetians, the five senses, much like us Libras. And with that, you're in love with the idea of love. You love creating your, your sacred spaces at home um, with the diffusers. You love smell goods. You love beautiful sights. You love the sound of someone's voice. The perfect song can bring you to such a high vibration. All of those five senses. And your person sees this about you and it's as though they're being pulled into your gravitational pull, okay? You have a gravitational pull on this person. They're liking what they see and they want to put down roots. Welcome, my beautiful charming Venetian Taurus to your mid to end of January 2022 love tarot and everything in between reading. I am incredibly excited to have you here today Taurus. I know a few of you have been waiting on this reading so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. I would like to preface this reading by saying if you have not already taken advantage of the full moon that occurred in Cancer on Monday, go ahead and do so now by affirming down in the comments below what it is that you're willing and wishing to release with the full moon. Understanding that the three days that follow the full moon are the most powerful for relinquishing the things no longer serving you, the people, the places, the stagnant energy, the negativity, whatever it may be. And when you do that, especially when it's something that's hard to let go of, a toxic behavior, um, understand that it creates space for more abundance, more positivity to flow into you. All right. Now, before we begin, it would not be right to not first. reverse so I'll take that as a message to flip to read them right side up I do read reversals um, but I'm just feeling that those cards were meant all three to be right side up okay bottom of the deck we have the knight of swords no surprise here in your subconscious some of you are waiting for someone to come in and save the day some of you are waiting for your person, for a boss, for a friend to show up in the way that you see them, not in the way that they see themselves. You see them as king, queen, energy, knight, prince, princess, okay? And for some reason, they're staying in this lower vibration. And that message came through heavy. You may be dreaming about this person. It may be a past love, um, a past life love, even potentially. But what I'm getting here is that if this is not someone that you are playing in your subconscious or having dreams about, then this is actually someone who's getting ready to manifest in your life. Knights are fast moving energy. Swords are about clear direct communication so some of you may be caught off guard in the next week or the coming weeks okay throughout the end of january by someone who's going to be making a move towards you taurus okay they're going to be expressing how they feel clearly directly and maturely And also, I ask that you remember this is a general love reading, so I do not expect every message to resonate with every Taurus out there. Please take the ones that do, leave the rest for a Taurus who may be needing it. And of course, if you'd like to book your girl for a private reading, I get those uploaded within 48 hours maximum without fail from the time of purchase. So check out the description box below if you're interested in booking me. 
All right, next in your energy, we have Major Arcana here with the Hermit. This can be heavy Virgo energy, earth sign energy, Taurus, matching you. Someone is either watching you from afar and not making a move, hence this Knight of Swords in the subconscious waiting to come out and show you how they feel. Um, or this could be you, Taurus. Some of you are waiting to make your move. And the way she's just, she's actually doesn't show her holding her shoulder. Her hand could potentially be over her heart, but one of her arms is missing. It's almost like a nervous habit when you see this person, like you blush or vice versa. This may be your person, how they feel about you blushing when they see you um, becoming this more childlike version of themselves. And they can't understand like why you make them weak in the knees, why they are so articulate and charming, yet when they get in your presence, they're like the hermit. Like, you know what? Let me just skip this event altogether because I'm going to look like a fool in front of my Venetian Taurus and I can't have that. <laughs> if that's an earth sign you're dealing with Taurus, let me know down in the comments. And of course, if this reading is resonating, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. You can also donate to the channel for this energy exchange if you feel inclined. Uh, all that info is right down in the description box. Um, I'm also doing a special right now. Um, not a special for tarot reading, but just a give back as my appreciation. If you donate to the channel, um, I give you a special shout out in the next Taurus reading. Now, that's only if you don't want to remain anonymous. And how you'll do it, which is, is all in the description box below as well. In the note section of your donation, of course, you'll put donation. And then you can put your name and then a black heart and a bunny emoji. It's okay if you use a fake name for anonymity, that's entirely fine. But you putting your name and the black heart and the bunny emoji lets me know that you do want to receive um, gratitude or acknowledgement, a shout out in my next Taurus reading, okay? All right. Next in your person's energy, and wow, this is matching. We have the Seven of Swords. Heavy divine connection to the moon here. I'm getting Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But do you see how similar? One hand behind the back. Someone has a trick up their sleeve, okay? And that might be you or that might be your person. But someone with these swords appearing quite a bit here, it is air sign energy, Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person has the Sin Mudra here in her hand. That's connecting a universal consciousness to your individual consciousness. By taking the thumb and the index finger, you're connecting your own individual consciousness with a greater, more universal consciousness. Yet in the other hand, you're keeping one sword behind your back. So this is like, even though you're spiritually evolving or even though you're starting to fall hard for someone, someone you're not showing all your cards you're keeping one sword behind the back just in case this person betrays you okay taurus you're very you're 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 being the bull okay but i feel as though someone may have potentially wronged you in the past to keep you in this energy to where you're like okay i've been through the battles i'll put down some of the swords i'll even show you how spiritual i am but i'm keeping one thing behind my back i'm keeping my hands hidden as I watch, as I observe what your energy is going to be like long term. And let me just say, I think you're going to like it because then you have the emperor, okay? Big Aries energy, big king, father figure, divine masculine energy. Please don't get caught up on if it's a man or a woman. We all possess both divine masculine and divine feminine as above, so below. For some of you, this is quite literally connecting with a father figure, okay? Maybe your paternal father, or maybe the, the father of your children is coming around more. Um, but I'm getting that this is a love interest. This is how you see that person, and this is how they see you. And whew, I'm getting something about giving massages, okay? This person loves how you cook for them. They love how you move about the room. They love how articulate you are, Taurus. You're, you're the Venetians, the five senses, much like us Libras. And with that, 
you're in love with the idea of love. You love creating your, your sacred spaces at home um, with the diffusers. You love smell goods. You love beautiful sights. You love the sound of someone's voice. The perfect song can bring you to such a high vibration. All of those five senses. And your person sees this about you and it's as though they're being pulled into your gravitational pull, okay? You have a gravitational pull on this person. They're liking what they see and they want to put down roots. Whew, I'm feeling that fire energy, okay? <laughs> Let's pull one more card for how your person's feeling about you from this beautiful Dust to Onyx tarot deck. Taurus, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Love to have you here. I don't just do tarot. Um, sometimes I drop spiritual readings. Um, I also talk about the moon cycles. I do sound healing. All right, this card fell out. Four of Blades. That wanted to come out. That wanted to come out in um, Cancer's reading just before this. Some of you may be dealing with that Cancer. All right, three shuffles, no cheating it. We'll get two cards for how your person's feeling. Let's take this one from the top this time. Ooh. Okay, so first we have the Four of Blades, the Four of Swords, more swords here. Some of you really are dealing with an air sign, okay? Your person is feeling like you may be on guard by something they did in the past. Um, your person may also see you as very balanced and clear with communication. And there's four different types of swords here. One is more like an arrow that's not very sharp. One looks like um, a very sharpened sword. Another has like a claw, almost like a talon. And another is like a, a sharpened spear, okay? Which tells me that your communication, once again, that with those Venetian qualities, you may come at your person softly sometimes, or you may come at them with the claws out, okay? Getting, being very clear, my Torians, about what it is you need, being bullheaded, okay? And people don't, you don't take shit from anyone. I'm just trying to skate around it. That's what I want to say. All right, next then you have suspension, which is the hanged woman or the hanged man in the traditional tarot deck, number 12 in this Dust to Onyx melanated tarot deck. Um, this is stagnancy. Once again, this is just matching that hermit, that your person is just not, I flipped the card upside down so you could see the, the artwork, but this person, they're suspended. They're not making a move because of how deeply they feel for you. For some of you, it's how they made this mistake in the past, but know that they're watching you, know they're observing you, and understand that they're feeling depleted without your high vibrational energy. That's just facts, Taurus. Let's go ahead and end with a special message from the Lover's Oracle. Spirit, Please show my beautiful Torian what it is that they need to see in matters of the heart. We're going to take from the top and the bottom. Heavy roots, okay? We said roots with this emperor. And then I'm going to show you right here. A little yin and yang. This could be your polar opposite. More roots here with this tree. It says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. More roots here, which I mean, it looks like a snake, but you can see the leaf here. Perceive it as you may, but you are wrapped up in this person. And I see you as being this divine feminine that is on top here, whether you're a man or a woman, and it reads power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. 
You, Taurus, have the power to walk away at any time. My beautiful Taurus, I hope these messages found you well. Until next time, I am sending you pure light, divine wisdom, and protection. Namaste.